K-I-L-R Killer Games Here we go again. As Nerd Gamer 2K tries another civilization. Yep. All right. You gonna do the warlord again? Yeah. I think I'm gonna have five this time. Okay. I'd say. Are you gonna go back to the uh, Egyptians again? Yeah. We gonna have Remises or Gamer 2K again? Gamer 2K. Games, okay. Two games. Games is gonna go. We're gonna go back in history and see if we can change history. We're going to the past. Some time travel. Blah 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 blah. Uh, I'm not gonna go there, but I'm gonna go there. Huh, that's pretty good. You can go back the best. Yep. <laughs> I'll just keep it as the <coughs> founded. Okay. Okay. Now you got some soldiers. Now what you can do. Um, if you build up an army on your your city, then if someone tries to attack it, they will at least be able to um, defend I it. I don't get it. Because think about it, your soldiers are going to be on the square of where your your city's at. So if you fortify them there on the city, then if if like oh. barbarians attack. You're going to have a defense. They're not just going to walk right through and take it over. Okay. So I think I'll do... Is pottery important? They're all important. Masonry will help you do a city wall, though. Oh, yeah, that's the bricks, right? Yep. Well, that took forever. Okay, so what you want to do, hit F for fortify. All right, so now he's... Uh, but I don't even see him. That's because he's in the city. Oh. Where... We already know what this says, right? Um... Yeah, I think we do. Okay. Allows mathematics, fa, 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 and construction. And you can do the pyramids and the Great Wall. And, okay. <coughs> What's construction? Allows you to construct. <laughs> uh, okay. So I think I'm going to get bronze working. That's pretty important. Yeah, that gives you some good weapons and stuff. Should ahead, I also go, fortify him? Yeah, go ahead and fortify him, too. Should I fortify him? Uh, well, go ahead and click on your city. Let's see where it's at. You're doing good, decent with food storage. Um, see, now these two are fortified. That's why they've got a yeah. thing around it. Um, click change for a moment. I think I'm gonna. Let's see. Great Wall takes 300 turns. It's gonna take a, a bit. That's a wonder. Um, yeah, I know. Um, barracks. Remember that will mm -hmm. bring up their their thing. So I think I'll do barracks. Okay. So that's good. Click and then next. that guy can just. No, I, I'd fortify. Okay. I'm scared to go there because what if there's like a yeah, thingy? Yeah, barbarians. Exactly. <clears throat> 
Go ahead and build your city. <coughs> And then you can take one of your people over there. Woo! All right, people spontaneously decide to recognize your many years of enlightened leadership. Craftsmen, masons, laborers, and artisans turn out to build a fine addition to your palace. So this is your palace. I love doing this. Ah, uh, my wonderful palace is a rock. Now you can uh, click a letter or just. Or, you know, you can do a letter yeah. on the board. That's what I normally do. I like to build the middle part first. And since I'm an Egyptian, I think I'm going to go with... Three? Yeah. Ba ba ba. Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You're doing awesome, as opposed to me. I mean, I explored a good portion of the map, but... So it's like, higher weaponry. Uh, yeah, bronze is an alloy of copper and other metals, mainly tin. Bronze work <laughs> technology grew out of experience with copper ore, which was often found pure enough in ancient times to be worked into metal objects. Experience with a distinctive greenish copper are ore led to mixtures of metals into bronze. The new metal proved much more useful than copper because it was harder, less brittle, and could hold a sharper edge. It made better, less costly tools and was very useful for making weapons and armor. The first societies possessing bronze weapons had a distinct advantage of, over those armed with stone or copper. This is where you're going to be able to do the phalanx unit and also the colossus wonder. And currency and iron working. Yes. Now I think I'll do. Well, what does currency do other than like money? Um. Well, I think that currency allows you to do like a treasury. <clears throat> um. It also, it will help, I think, with with your funding and your money and stuff like that because you'll you'll be able to do improvements. <clears throat> that may not be too bad of a thing. I think maybe I'll get, should I get that one or that one? I'd go with currency. Well, first I'm like, I'm already at 60,000 BC. And that's the population. Woo! Barracks are made. I have two peoples. Okay, go ahead and change that. Now, go ahead and make, let's see. <coughs> Your A stands for attack, D for defense, M is movement. So as you can see, the settlers, they don't have any attack. They do have one point of uh, defense, and they can only move one <coughs> thing per turn. So you'll see that your phalanx are good for defense, um, but not so much attacking. These are those things? Those are the militia. So what's a phalanx again? Phalanx, they're, they're more defensive. So what you could do um, is make... If you make a phalanx... Actually, do one more militia. That won't take very long. And then what you'll do, what I think you should do, is um, oh, hold on a second. Let me think this one out here. Well, the new guy that I get, I'm going to use him for exploring. <laughs> okay, I know what I was I, I know what I was thinking of now. Okay, change it back to to failings again. No. Things. So when you get one of these guys built, then replace over here. Take one of your militia guys out. You won't be able to do it yet. Oh, well, you can do it, but take him out and then replace him. These are, these guys will be better for your defense, and that's what you want them in there. Mm -hmm. You want them there for defense. So then I can take one guy out because it's only going to take seven turns. That way I can start exploring well, what I'm saying is, as soon as he 
comes in here and defends as soon as you got him built, then you'll fortify him, unfortify one of these guys. I know, and but... You, and then you can move him out. I'm I just, could just do it now, because that'd be seven turns instead of just sitting there. I was just thinking you might want to get your defense up before you go after that. I wasn't going to go after that yet. Oh. I'm too scared. Well, if you've got defense, you'll be fine, especially since there's barracks. Oh, yeah, that's true. You didn't have an army in here before. That's why it didn't do any good. <coughs> All right, you've got currency. So, as cities grew, their internal economies became more complicated. People specialized in their labors, some producing grain, some pottery, some bricks, etc., a system of barter developed so that the wares and services of one individual could be exchanged for those of another. In response to the need for a medium of exchange and for more sophisticated ways of, to store purchasing power and set standards of value, currency came into use. The first satisfactory currency was coinage, made from electrum, a naturally occurring alloy of gold and silver. What I like about these is it um oh i already have bronze work oh yeah duh uh i like the history <coughs> lesson that this gives yeah so the marketplace that is going to really help with your money and stuff like that i think i'm gonna do iron working that would, that would be good that, i think that'll um Increase your... So F? Yeah, F. All right, now go ahead and click on that. There you go. And then click on this guy? I think so. I think that'll work. Yep, yeah. there you go. And then... Whoop. Oh, yeah. Should I do another one, or... Yeah, why not? I, I would keep... Replace these guys with phalanxes, and then you'll have And then have higher... them out to explore? Yeah, have them out to the explore, exactly. Okay. So I'm going to go this way. I'm already at four. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh. Um. <coughs> Whoop. Move Kay. him back. Fortify. Oh, not yet. Okay, F. Now click on your city. No, nope, you can just use the mouse and go over there. I'll just do it after that guy. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you, you might as well. Let, let him go there, and then I would change it again. Unclick one of those, and you can move him out. Well, look at all those resources. Yeah. No, you're doing really good. So, up. Oh. Okay. You can move him another direction. All right, go ahead and fortify him, and click on your city again. <coughs> and you can free one more guy if you want. Um, you might want to go. Do you want to build more uh, phalanxes for defense? Yeah, I'm gonna build one more. That the, that way, there's four of them. Okay. Because I just removed that guy, and then I'm gonna build a wall or something. Okay, he's out. Woo! Iron working. We already know what iron working does because yep. of you. Bridge building, gunpowder. Are those guys also good for legions? Yeah, they're probably good for. I think they might be good for defense and attack. Probably. Okay. I think now I'm going to do alphabet. That guy go up there. Why does he go too? I don't know. I think I'm on an island. They're just all over the place. How come your city's not blinking? Why would my city be blinking? Because I thought... Oh, okay. 
is not quite there. I think your resources might be going lower because you got all these uh, army guys out. Should I go there? Um, you could, or you could bring all your um, army uh, guys into the <coughs> same one spot. That's how I did it. If you get all of your um, your guys in the same uh, square and then move one of them to attack, then they it's like they all attack. That's how you do it. So then how do I just keep them there? Um, it's the sentry. Go to orders. I think it was S. Yeah, sentry. Just hit S. I think you can do the go to, remember? Um, click orders again because it's G. Yeah, do go to. All right. Now you're going to. Oh, yeah, I remember click. this. All right, fortify him. Okay. Oh, you might want to change your thing now. Hang on. Go to. You can just click on your guy. No, oh, you... whoops. No, nah, stop. Click G, or just hit G. I'm going to change this first. Okay. <laughs> you still got good resources. Um, Click change. There you go. Okay. I think I'm going to build another city. No, that's going to take a long time. Great Wall, 299 turns. Well, look at the attack that, my, that legions have. Yeah, the legions are good. So what you want to do, you could dismiss your militia um, and get the legions, but you know maybe you can bring them or all together. I can together. have both of them, yeah. Just be careful that you're not making too many, otherwise you're going to eat up your resources and it's going to take longer. I think <clears> I, <throat> I might create a city wall. That would be good. It'll take a long time, but I have a pretty good de defense. Okay, so... Yeah, just hit G. Oh, I think you have to click on the... Oh, okay. Well, you can just move him manually then. You don't have to do go to. He's so close. Oh, yeah. There we go. But when but they're all grayed out, so wouldn't they just like they're on sentry, so But how would I get them out of sentry? Um you have to activate them. I think <laughs> you activate them in the city view. Alright, so you got the alphabet. We know we what know. that is. Code of Matt law making nothing. code of laws is good, writing. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we'll just go to. Okay, now go click on your city, which is now at five. Well, that's awesome. Whoa. Okay, so. I keep getting more resources. Um, I think you have to click on them. Click on them. That didn't. That didn't do it. There's a way to activate them. I thought. Maybe it's orders. Dis no, no, no! Don't disband. That'll get rid of them. How do you do that? Oh, you click these guys. That's it. Oh, probably when it's their turn. Yeah, I think so. So, oh, what's no orders of space, right? Huh. That's not doing it either. Oh, I think they're ready. I don't know. Um, well, I guess you could just attack and find out what happens. Of oh. course. There's got to be a way to undo them. I forget how to do it. No, it's just that dude. Oh, there we go. That's how you do it. <laughs> You just had to click on there. Go there. That 
wait, that I just figured it out. I know how you can bring them all together now. How? I'll show you. Writing, I think we know what that is, right? Consider one of the most important advances of civilization. Um, that's right. Yeah, we yeah. did do that. So Diplomats, religion. Library. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Cl um, I'll pick your next one. Mathematics. Okay, now click on them blinking. There we go. So you just click on... I think if you click on them together, I think that puts them together? Maybe not. No. What happened to your phalanx? Oh, that's right. They're all... Okay. <laughs> so I guess just take one and attack. Scrolls of Ancient Wisdom. Is we know what that one is. Well, we never actually went over it. I don't. Oh, wait, yeah, we did. Because yeah, Abraham right. Lincoln gave it to you. That's right. You had no choice. I'm giving it to you whether you like it or not. I'm just gonna keep them together like that. Are you kidding me? Let's see. Lord Gamers. Games 2K Egyptians. But why do I say Lord? I'm not a Lord. I don't know. Oh, I see <coughs> Civilization 5 save. Let's do something here. Let's it created a new one because there's 1, 2, 3, 4, and mine said 5. Okay, so there I am. Select a save file. What do you down here? Yeah, because I'm like, I don't know if it's going to save over yours or not. Civilization 3. See, why isn't it showing us the other? Because that's Civilization 3. How come it's not showing 5? Mm. I don't know either. Okay. Down here. Fishies. Oh wow, you're at 200,000 citizens. Is that me? Yeah. That's a lot. You're doing you're doing awesome. I think I might go to the one that's right next to my city. Ah, your city wall. Woo! They're not going to be able to attack you very well now. All right, go ahead and change that. Whoa! Oh, Sixty turns for the Great Wall. Oh, really? Pyramid, or pyramids? Get the pyramids because remember. Why did it go down so low? Because of your resources. You're gonna go with pyramids. Yeah. That and then allows I'll you do to do the Great Wall. Yeah, that allows you to do uh, Great it, Wonders. It's not even three hundred anymore. That's so cool. Yeah, it's because your resources are so high. Man, I need to do better on my civilization. Holy moly. All right, you are number <laughs> number two as far as the greatest civilization of the Egyptians. <gasps> the happiest. Ah. We don't know who the others are because you haven't met them. Yeah, I haven't met anybody yet. Except for barbarians, but... <laughs> Not in this one. Mathematics. All right. From the earliest alphabet, some symbols came to represent the concept of numbers. Math arose from the needs of agriculture and commerce to keep track of quantities, accounts, and measurements. Farmers needed to know the size of the yield from their fields. Traders needed to know what they had available for barter and the rates of exchange. Masons needed to know the built dimensions of the structure they were building. Development of mathematics was critical to the future advance of physics and other sciences. All right. So oh, I need masonry. I masonry. think you've got it. You've got masonry already. Isn't that bricks? Yeah, that's the bricks. I thought oh, yeah. you did that one. Yeah, I got that. So this is going to allow you to do astronomy, physics, university, and computers. So smart stuff. Yeah. you got a catapult. You, or at least you can build catapults. Now, what's mysticism? Um, I think it's like religion or something, I think. Code of laws? That allows you to create governments. 
and better governments allow you to do uh, better money and stuff. Friendly tribe with skilled mercenaries. Huh. Does that mean I got a new person? Yeah. Whoa! Look at that dude. He's all strong and tough. Uh, I put him with your city. That's <laughs> what I'm doing. I'll fortify him. All right. They look kind of cool where they're like coming out and stuff. Wow. Now that I'm all prepared, there aren't going to be any barbarians. The Babylonians, <laughs> they want to speak with you. <laughs> Hello. Look at his earring. Greetings from he who makes mortals tremble. This writing is confusing. Hammer oh, Hammurabi. I learned about them. We note that your primitive civilization has not even discovered pottery. Do you care to exchange? Okay. Alright, they take mathematics. Does that mean we still know it? Yeah, you still know it. You've already learned it. Okay. So you can take pottery or literacy or code of laws. Pottery might be good. Yeah. I think that allows you to build a granary. Mm. Concomitant an essential... To agriculture revolution is the invention of pottery for seasonal crops and domesticated animals to be really useful, sturdy, and waterproof. Containers were necessary to hold and protect the surplus until needed. The discovery of the properties of clay, the kiln, and the potter's wheel made dependable containers possible. Pottery was essential to the growth of substantial human populations. Without it, cities would not have been possible. So you can do granary and hanging gardens wonder. That does pretty good stuff for your city too. You don't have literacy. Okay. Development of writing made available as a critical tool for the advance of knowledge. Um, greater the percentage of the population was that was literate the greater the advantage that could be taking from writing so priests and scribes were the only ones that were literate but now all others had to share knowledge slowly and when a high percentage of the population was literate as in classical Greece the economy benefited and the advance of knowledge accelerated accelerated oh Writing and code of laws. Well, and you got the great library wonder that you can build. When I get code of laws. Okay. Now I have code of laws. All right. Population cities grew. The need the need grew for the establishment of rules and conduct within the newly organized societies. After development of the alphabet, these rules were written down along with the punishments that kept them enforced. The earliest known such codes existed in Babylon, India, and Palestine. Explains why the Babylonians have it. Roman law was the first to distinguish between public law, in which the state is involved, and private law, concerning disputes between citizens. U.S. law was greatly influenced by the work of Sir William Blackstone, who stressed the natural rights of the individual. Cars right. alphabet, I have that. So courthouse improvements that will maintain law and order in your city. You may be worthy. We have prepared. He's smiling. <laughs> oh man, he looked his teeth. Like look that. at my teeth. I brush my teeth every day. They look kind of yellow. We affirm this treaty of eternal friendship and goodwill. E They're all smiling now. Babylonian and Egyptian civilizations. We welcome. welcome the friendship. That's always good. Ye. Welcome. So if I were to go down that way, it would attack. No, no, you got peace. Oh, if you, yeah, if you go against that cellar right there, that's considered war. Okay. Not going that way. <laughs>
where to go. Probably where oh, the black is at. Probably. Ooh, what's that fancy stuff? Um, you can put it on there. See what happens. Will it attack? No, no. It's there's no unit there. What if it's a city? It's not a city. It'll look just like yours. We have signed the peace treaty. Oh. It is a city. Okay, cancel action then. That must be part of their that likes the their irrigation and stuff. All right. Oh, I can't even go on the road. No. Yep. They're they're advancing their their city with uh, roads and which you can do, but you're gonna well, need to you're gonna need to uh, build cellars and stuff like that. Now you can easily disband them if you want. It'll return some resources. That's why the cellar thing is there. It's it's improving their city. I can't even go down that way. Yeah, I wouldn't try. Oh look, they built another city. I can't go anywhere. They're stuck. What did it do? Freeze. Oh no, I press five. Oh. So what? I just disband all of them. You may have to. That's okay. You'll get the resources back for them. D. Yeah, D for disband. I feel so ashamed. All right. That's me, right? Yep. Oh yeah, I'm still building the pyramids. So basically, now I just sit there. Ooh, I'm getting more. Yeah, that's about all you can do right now. I think it's pretty close. Sumer. Huh. I learned about Sumer. Whoa. Someone's attacking them. I wonder if those are Romans. I like that triangle thing. Map making, this is that thing with the um, navigation and stuff like that. Mm. Animal skins, clay tablets, two bar. Do I just... Yeah, just you're, you're good. Okay, so... All right, so... <coughs> oh, I can create... Boats. Yeah, they don't attack. That just sends your troops. They they're limited. So um, if you send them out too far, they'll sink. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you, here we go. Now you can pick um, the Republic or the Wheel. So what about trade? Is that is that trade is good. Um, That'll allow you to build a caravan, and then you can uh, establish a trade with um, the the other cities of your um, ally. The Republic will help you build a, a government that will be more beneficial. And do construction. Enter. Yeah. I wonder when I'm gonna upgrade my thing again. Got some money there. <coughs> Only four hundred ten. That's a lot more than what I had. You might be able to pay for the rest of your uh, wonder. I'm a, I'm at seven. You got a huge. It's pretty close. It probably, if you look at it, probably won't cost very much. Twenty-eight. Yeah, it's only going to cost twenty-eight out of the four thirteen you've got. But this will at least allow you to start building something else. It's up but to you, though. It's not that far. See, 
see? It was only one way. Oh, wow. <laughs> I told you. There it is, way in the background. Whoa, it's so big. Oh, that's right. Now that we have this, you don't have to go anarchy or anything like that when changing the government. What's anarchy again? Uh, where there's no government. People just do whatever, whatever they want. <laughs> All right. Temple is six turns. Look at this. Oh, so, okay, so your marketplace will really help with your trade. Library helps make people smarter. Um, all, all of your stuff on the bottom. But well, you can really build stuff quick. Look at that. You can do your great wall if you want to. I think I'm going to build a settler first. Oh, yeah, improve the land around. That yeah. It won't take very long. I could easily buy with it. Oh, Ooh, no. Wow, that's a lot. So should I build another city? Ooh, yay. Okay. So I'm going... I think you're ready to build another city, yeah. I like improving that. <laughs> I also like the sides. The farthest I've gone on the sides is trees, I think. Yeah, so if you build your... S or wait on your settlers... Oh my gosh! I'd build two settlers. One to improve your city and the other one to go make another one. Now I feel foolish with all the stuff I was doing on mine. <laughs> this is just the way I've always played. Yay! I keep it I on sellers. It. Yeah. All right. So oh, I went down to six. Um, that's probably because yeah. of the settlers. Mm. It probably takes a lot of resources. Okay, so, um, if you should I build it there or on the fishy? I thought you're going to. Well, that's right. Um, or I could build it right there, so it gets kind of both of them. Yeah, that little uh, thing up there that looks like a s teeny little square. Yeah. Um, also, remember the fishies over there. Yeah. That should be good. Yeah, go ahead and move them over there. Because then you'll be right next to the water, too. That is a good location. Well, kind of close. All right, I'd build right there. Right there? Yeah, that's a good one. Memphis. Memphis, <laughs> yeah. Memphis Tennessee. 600 B.C. <laughs> Time goes by fast. Yay! Yeah, they're a little bit more advanced. They don't even look like TPs. All right. Well, I guess you can. Oh, you might might want to change your. I got two of those things. Militia thing. Get someone better. Um. Let's see. Catapult. No, that's attack. You want some good defense? I guess they're failing still. Yeah. Yeah, except there. And the largest civilization in the world. Apparently, you're number four. That means that the mediocre. <laughs> that means that some of the other cities are much larger. M the other civilizations. Wow, I, I've I, got a lot of people. But if you think about it, the other, the other four civilizations apparently have more. That could be disturbing. Well, let's see. They've got three. It might be one of the other ones that we haven't met yet. Like one of the dangerous people? <laughs> yeah, probably. Okay. All right. Change this to... Um, what does a temple do? <laughs> uh, it, I believe it helps with your happiness and stuff, I think. Well, my people look happy. Granary is going to help you do more food storage. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'll do Granary, then a temple, and then a library. All in that order. Now, where should I put him? Move him to the next square. Just any direction. You mean like next to here? No, no, no. Just like right right, right where he's at, move him one square. Oh, okay. 
Now go to orders. And okay, this is where you can start building irrigations and stuff like that. So irrigations, I wouldn't worry about roads yet, but at least with the irrigations, now it's it's going to allow you to do more resources and stuff. Well, what does a fortress do? You know, you can't select it, but um, irrigation. Yeah. Eventually, you'll be able to build a fortress. <coughs> you could probably build quite a few around your. Um, Think of them as uh, defensive outposts and stuff. I say that guy forever. They're low on resources. All right, he's done there. So move him in another area. And then I. Yeah, I. Right, F. Four. Yep, fortify. So just do like four of those dudes. That'll probably be good. All right, construction. And advancing beyond the use of mud, bricks, and mortar to build homes and walls, ancient engineers respond to the need for stronger, more elaborate structures by developing new techniques and skills in construction. The preferred building material became stone. These new skills made possible the aqueducts, city walls, palaces, temples, bridges, and roads that still stand today. In many places, testaments to the ancient builders in civilization. Construction allows settler units to construct fortresses. Requires okay, so I have both of those. Okay. Oh, aqueducts. That is really going to help with your, your food stuff as far as uh, irrigations and stuff. Coliseum is good for um, keeping your people happy. Bridge building is good. So then I think when I build the granary, then I'll do the aqueducts and then like the library or something like that. You can make more wonders too. Cause, oh yeah. Because if you build a wonder, no one else can build it. Really? Yep. Wow, that's cool. There's your granary. Look, your My bee beehive. Your beehive. No. Oh. So uh, then. Yeah, look out. You, only 50 turns for the Great Wall? You, and your Great Library and Lighthouse? Isn't the Colosseum a wonder? No, no, that that's Aww. just something you can add. So Lighthouse is a wonder, right? Yep. Great and Library? That is, yeah, everything towards the bottom is all of your... Um, Colossus? Yeah, hanging, oh. hanging, uh, hanging From there gardens to down. down, yeah. So then I might do the low ones, or I'll just do the Great Wall. Great will be kind of cool. China's cool. How long does it take to irrigate? I think it takes a few turns. All right, he's done that. Irrigate there? Yeah. Doesn't irrigation take away stuff? No, not at all. What does it do again? Um, we'll click on six for a moment. Okay. Let's say two of those. Just need to make sure this place is okay. <coughs> okay. Do you see how you're getting more resources now from those areas? More squares. On the more squares, yeah. You're see whenever you have those little design things on them, you're able to get resources from them. Oh, cool. Um, now you can change them. Um, if you click, like you click this bottom one and put them over there on the horse, that might give you more food. Oh, well, looks like it's about the same. Cool. Paris builds a hanging garden. Yeah, the French got the hanging garden, so that means you won't be able to do it. But it will tell you what it's all about. Um, Hagen Gardens of Babylon are believed to have been a series of ascending tier gardens built within the palace to please a queen from a more verdant region. The gardens contain all manners of trees, shrubs, and vines, and appeared to be a large green mountain and a city built of sun-dried mud bricks. Pleasing to look at, cool to linger in, and a remarkable piece of engineering, the gardens were a distinctive feature of Babylon. Now it's French, France. They were written <laughs> about by many visitors and were a great source of pride to the people. So that is... One happy face. One happy face.
how much further you want to go? Um, a little bit further. Um, just irrigate there. Mm -hmm. Okay. I guess when the Great Wall is built. Yeah, oh. maybe. Ooh, that's a lot. Yeah. Or one more. There was an M right below that. I wonder what that meant. A M? No, not there. It was like right below at an angle. It's not there now, but... I'm just looking at my stuff. I think that's pretty good. Whoa. That looks a little different. You got your barracks. That'll bring your defense up. Or a city wall. Should I do that one first? That'll take a while. I do your barracks. At least it'll it'll be quicker. And then you might want to do your. I do your granary so that way you get more <coughs> food. Um, food and stuff. At least you're building your palace. I ain't got nothing on my side. <laughs> I just love my palace. I feel like wiping out my civilization, actually. Just like restarting? Yeah, almost. I think what I might do is disband all my military units. They're taking up too many resources. One AD! Twenty? Where, where'd the 19 years go? <laughs> this must take a really long time to irrigate in reality. Yeah, no kidding. Oh my goodness. It's takes, like a century. <laughs> takes 60, 60 years. <laughs> <laughs> and it takes like 20 years for them to move. I wonder why the city's not growing any bigger. That one? Yeah. See, look, look, there's an M right right where the 3 is at. Because it's Memphis. Oh, that's why. It does, it's not showing the whole name. Yeah. Well, that's cool. They have, like, those squares. So build a granary. Yeah. That'll give you more. It's right in the middle, 20. That'll allow you to do more food storage. That's almost done. So what's the point of having money if you don't really even use it? Um, <laughs> I think you do use it for some things. I think Ooh. having the money um, helps reduce the costs of uh, some of your stuff. I'm sure it's in the instructions somewhere. The 70 page manual. It's like a hundred twenty something. Oh. It's a good read. It it's took just me. A it, lot. Yeah, it took me a while to get through it. Bridge building. All right. Important measure of advancement <laughs> of any civilization was the internal construction improvements built to facilitate trade and communication. The Roman Empire was renowned for its roads, aqueducts, and other structures that linked the frontiers to the capital. Bridge building was greatly advanced by the Romans and rediscovered in the West by medieval engineers many years later. The first iron bridge was built in England in the late 18th century and bridge building techniques advanced rapidly to meet the demands of the expanding railroads of the 19th century. And this allows you to do the railroad, which you have to, the steam engine. Okay. Well, now you can do... Uh, the Republic if you want to. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That should help increase your trade and, and stuff like that. Well, well I'm getting up the puny civil... What? That means you're number five. I went down one. And the French, they're nowhere on there. Nope. They're probably very... Well, let's see. They're probably still at three. Yeah, they're still at three. They're not doing too good. 
At least I'm their friend. I think it's because they're getting attacked by someone down there. Yay! So what do I do when that part irrigates? But I would start making roads. When you start making roads, it 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 improves um, the the quickness of everything. So I can put a road on an irrigation thing. Uh huh. Cool. Oh, yeah. I'll probably make roads between cities. Yes, that is a good <coughs> idea to do. That 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 way. Oh, and you should be able to build your caravans and start doing trade between your cities now too. So when you start building roads, yeah, absolutely. I never learned trade yet. You'll you'll see. Trading is cool. So I'm gonna build one there. R for road. Yeah, it says R. 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 These are pirates. I can do the road diagonal, right? Yeah. Doesn't take long for roads to be made. Woo! Whoa! That's a huge wall. Oh, that's so cool! It's like, yeah, that's really big, and it's like it it goes like, it goes in perspective. And a long, yeah. So that's like the miniature wall, and that's the great wall. Yeah, <laughs> the miniature wall and the <laughs> great wall. We need we need double protection just in case. All right, where are you going to change it to now? Probably the lighthouse. That'd be good for ships. Colossus, I believe, helps your military. Too well, much. I just wanted to see how much it was. They almost, oh. they almost got their granary built. Okay, when the granary's built, then. Well, that was... Oh. do the road again. Woo, so pretty. I think that's the highest you can go on the road. I think so. Roads are important. If you don't have a good looking road, no one walks on it. <laughs> well, look how big it There's like four people there. It's getting bigger. So then this one... It already has one over the granary. <laughs> I guess this one could have the lighthouse. Or no. I need to build this guy's up thing. Good resources. You already have one granary, so you need to change that. I know, I'm just looking at the stuff. Oh, diplomat. That's oh wait a minute, diplomat? Where's the caravan at? The caravan's the one that you want. I don't know. I Unless, I don't know if you can take the diplomat to between your cities or not. I think it's a caravan that you need. Unless diplomat is higher than a caravan. I could build a library. What's a courthouse? Like, what does that do? The law and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, I was going to build city, city walls. Oh, yeah. Help protect them. Because I don't have a great wall of China. <laughs> oh, they're ready to go. Oh, wow, that was quick. Okay. So I guess you could build irrigations around there now, or just start building roads all over around your, your town. I'll do irrigation. We can end it there if you want. All right, so the... Civilization of Nerd Gamer 2Ks, well, it went off to a, a rough start. And then it became a very awesome start. Because we went back in time and we fixed things. <laughs> Yay! All right, so we'll go ahead and we'll end the video here as she improves, continues. Continues, <laughs> improves. Because, hey, you know, it's that one more move, one more turn, one more turn. And she's definitely taking advantage of it. Oh, yeah. So. Be sure to check out the other videos that we've got. We play DOS games and other games from other platforms. So be sure to click on any one of those videos that you see. Uh, click subscribe. 
subscribe. We like subscribers. Subscribers are good since we can send you notifications of when you see another video that we make. And uh, like us. Hey, the French have built an oracle. Yay! Oracle's a priest. Yada, yada, yada. You can read that if you want later. But anyhow, be sure to click like and leave some comments down below. We'd appreciate that. Thanks for watching.